Alrighty guys, so this is my first update on a mod that I've been doing. Uh, it's not much, and if you watch my teardown video first, hopefully, because it kind of gives away the surprise if I do it now. But uh, I've come up with a very small mod, which I think will be useful. Um, I don't know if it applies to other generic uh, drones based on this style. I'm sure the JY018 is a knockoff of something else, is a knockoff of something else, you know, like, it's kind of hard to tell who's an original. But, at least in this particular drone, spoiler alert, right away, is that on this, I have made, you can tell, I've made a, a hole, let me get on the point with here, I made a hole right down here in the battery area. So let me go ahead and pop out this uh, Wi-Fi board here. I'll show you. There's the hole, right down there. Uh, poorly cut in. Um, I was trying to figure out exactly how high it needed to be. I'm using a Dremel and I can't do it straight on. I have to do everything from an angle. Um, I had to use uh, little Dremel bits and kind of ream out the edges and make it as smooth as possible. So if you look at it from inside where the control board is, it's almost completely flush with the bottom here. Now what this is, here's the spoiler, is this guy. This is a micro SD uh, card slot. It is spring-loaded, as you'd expect. And literally, he holds a micro SD card. So, here's my thought, was that rather than having to take this guy completely apart just to be able to get to the card, since normally there would be no way, why not just cut a hole in it, and I'll have to do something creative about holding this thing in place. Um, and I'll have to use some uh, hot melt glue and a little bit of plastic to make a place so that this board can't uh, shift around because normally it's very lightly clipped in here. But uh, if we go ahead and put this in, and do this while I'm on camera. Do this down here. Okay, so if you look, the board has some shift in it, fair amount actually, and the little parts up here, again I need something to point with, this little spot up here is not enough to keep it from sliding forward, but I can't put anything directly in front of it because this socket is where the camera uh, plugs into. So I need to keep that free. And I still want to be able to use this. So I need to put hot melt maybe around the sides or kind of in the bottom corner, just something where it can't slide forward but doesn't interfere with the socket. Um, and it needs to be preferably up here. Um, I don't want to completely glue it in place so that it can't come back out. I do want to get it out if I need to but uh, I don't want to break it. So right now I have the Wi-Fi antenna off and I have the camera out and I have the, I don't know if you can see it. Let me try and get this wires out of the way here. If you look all the way back in there, you can kind of see the outline of the micro SD card. So we go ahead and turn it over. Now, unfortunately, Seeing as I have to hold it, this is going to be a little more complicated. There you can see the card. Right here. Now unfortunately, it's so far in that it's kind of hard to press with your finger. And if you have long nails and you kind of have to be able to get your finger into the slot like that, it's not easy to get to. So um, I mentioned before in the other video that you'll have to use a screwdriver or a bobby pin or something. But all you have to do, once it's securely mounted, is push and it'll pop out and from here 
So you just reach in, you pull out your card. If you want to swap it, now here you can probably do it. Just make sure you're not pressing on the camera. Get, press on this little indent here. And there's the click. And now it's in. Now the downside is that, yes, it's another hole in the frame. So if you drop it in water or wet grass or something, there's a higher chance of getting water on the board. But, check this out. If I take a battery like this, and notice the card is already in, that the battery goes in just fine. Doesn't interfere with anything. There's plenty of clearance because it's behind the, uh, the wall there. So when you're ready, you just take out the battery. And if you can do it, I'll have to see if I can get this to work right. Aha. Okay. And then you take your card out. So I am able to use a micro SD card with this drone. I did have to cut a custom hole in here so that I could physically access it. But uh, next up on the list, and I know I'm making one mod uh, per video at this rate, uh, since this is the first one, but I wanted to show you guys that so that you knew that it was even possible. Uh, next mod will be to take this LED, and this LED, and not necessarily swap them out, but I'm gonna add in uh, somehow, I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do it yet, um, some 0603 SMD LEDs, most likely. Uh, add in a couple of them and make them brighter. Um, this one will probably stay red, and this one will, I believe it's green, or white, heck, I'm not even really sure. I think it's green. Um, and put a series down the front uh, of this little, of this strip right here. Not on this, I want this part to be detachable. So we'll light it up a little bit more. Um, I will see about possibly, depending on if I can do it, adding some LEDs maybe to the arms, uh, all the way at the tips. See if I can get around the gears. Um, if not, maybe put some, put some lighting underneath. Uh, just kind of spice it up a little bit. But one thing I do want to at least try to do in at some point here is to be able to fly this in the rain with any uh, confidence. Seeing as this is the power board, I'm not so worried about the motors getting wet. Um, they're, pre they're actually pretty well sealed in there. But this power button, as you can see here, is not at all sealed. So I want to see if there's some way I can put maybe a thin layer of silicon behind this uh, just on the surface so that that's sealed and this basically acts as a rainproof at least from the top uh, umbrella for the rest of the control board uh, power board and everything else inside so that if you happen to go out in the rain you won't get water on the power board and you instantly fry it so that'll be another update but uh, I have yet to dig in a little more to what this board is capable of. Um, if all it does is save uh, video and photo to the card, uh, maybe it's firmware upgradable, maybe not. I'm not really sure. I'll have to look up the uh, part numbers, look at the specs, uh, see what I can figure out. But if you want to experiment, this is definitely a good place to start. Uh, it's cheap, it's easy to work with, cutting the body is not difficult, although I wouldn't recommend taking off too much because it is supposedly uh, balanced in both directions. So I doubt what I took out is going to make much of a difference, but it's interesting to see that uh, you can add a feature that just simply wasn't available by design, don't know why, just by cutting out a small hole in the frame. So. Hope you guys liked this video. If it helped you at all, leave a comment, like, subscribe. Let me know what you'd like to see me do in the next video. And I will see you guys later. 
All right, so let's give this a try real quick. We are gonna see if we can make a spot of hot melt glue underneath that is basically the shape of the underside of this, or I guess, well, top side of the micro SD card slot and not actually stick it to this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some plastic wrap, we're gonna lay it down, try to piece it out of the way here. Okay, and then we're gonna, first we're gonna put down the glue, put on the plastic wrap, and then we're gonna push this guy down on top of it where he goes, let it cool, take the chip, take the board back out, and then see if we can get the plastic off, and that should give us the mold that we need without actually sticking to our micro SD card uh, piece, so that we can get this board out in the future if we need to. So I'm going to determine here that the fact that I have to push it, I do want to be a little bit behind. I always need the feel, feeling the need to point stuff out here. Come on, stop. Okay. Is that to the back of this board, or the back of this uh, piece here, let me just bring it up to the camera. Right back here, I need something I can push back against that will keep the board in place. So, I know, it, it, it's almost like I chose to do this the hard way, right? Um, because I could have just disconnected this board with this clip, but whatever. So, let's go ahead and lay down our glue, see if I don't bump the camera with this. Put down the plastic and hopefully everything will work now remember there's two holes always got to point stuff out man down here and down here on either side of these clips where it can fall out the bottom i'm not super worried about it but just in case let's not do it over my good mouse pad so let's see how this is going to work Remember, if it doesn't work, good thing about hot glue is you can always undo it. Okay. So that should be pretty good take our plastic wrap before it cools down too much. Let's get this thing put in place without burning myself. It's so right there. Now what I could do is I could add a little bit to the outside edge. I'm gonna show you in the camera here. Right in here, but that doesn't hold anything, so I'm gonna see if I can put a little dab right up here in the corner and same on this side. I don't have to do it immediately because that can cool. I'm not gonna move the board, but uh, I'd like at least a little more uh, have it anchor down a little bit better than it probably is already. So, let's go ahead and put a small dab here. Not too much. I don't know if this is going to throw off the weight of the quadcopter or not. Gently move it back. And let's do it to this side.
Now remember, we want to be careful not to get any glue ahead of the front of this zip socket here on either side because this black plastic piece here you have to pull out, put the ribbon cable for the camera in, and then push that blast black plastic piece in in order to uh, clamp down on the ribbon cable. So I wanted a little bit of forward hold, but not at the expense of the socket. So let's open this up a little bit. So while I have this, I'm going to push away. And it looks almost as if this might have been a bad idea. It kind of feels like this plastic is actually melting from the heat of the hot melt glue. So it'll be interesting to see what that does on the back side of the control board back there. So I'm going to pause the video and I will come back as soon as uh, I feel that it's dry enough or cooled down enough and solid that I can take this back apart and hopefully everything still works. The plastic didn't stick to it, didn't melt, uh, whatever. This is really cheap uh, hot melt glue, uh, or I'm sorry, uh, plastic. So we'll see. So I'll be back in a minute. All right, sorry for the absolutely terrible exposure here. Um, let's lock it in there. Okay, I, uh, I ended up pulling out the board with uh, not much effort. So I tested a little bit here in the corner on the plastic and it turned out that it went right through. Um, this stuff melts pretty easily as soon as you put uh, hot melt glue on it. So I'll show you really quick what I mean. So right out here in the open, I'm literally just going to put on a dab. I'm trying to work around the camera here. And watch what the plastic does. See that? Put some over here. Watch what happens. This stuff shrinks up really quick. Come on, don't fall off the desk. Now, if I leave it like that for just a second, and then I pull off, look at that. It went right through. Now, what's curious is that with this, where I pushed it down, it's not even really warm. In fact, there's nothing left on the Wi-Fi board, but I can probably get this up without deforming anything. Inside of here, it looks as though it actually worked, and you can't seem to see it on the video, but uh, it did take the impression that I wanted, and I have a, a really big feeling that this plastic is not going to come off nicely at least not while it's hot. So I'm gonna let this sit for about 10, 15 minutes, maybe a little bit more. And then I will try to carefully peel off uh, as much of this plastic as I can, and hopefully it doesn't stick to the hot melt glue form that I have in the bottom of the frame. All right, so it's been about 15 minutes. Uh, I got into watching some YouTube videos and got a little lost. But uh, let's go ahead and see if we can't get this plastic off, and then we will test fit our uh, control card here. Well, our camera and Wi-Fi card, and see how this thing works. Yeah, I got a feeling this is not going to come off as clean as I would like at all. fact, it looks like it almost might not even come off at all. Let's see what we got here. If this is boring for you, uh, feel free to go ahead and 
skip forward in the video. Okay, so that part completely melted onto the plastic. Which I guess is all right. I mean, the plastic really isn't gonna hurt anything. But I was kind of hoping it would be uh, cleaner than that. Okay, so that corner's off. It's all right, I'm not really worried about it. Let's try to get this other side here. Okay, so that's the two front parts. Now we have to try and get this main part separated, and I doubt this is going to work. I'm trying anyway. And unfortunately, it looks like that's not going to happen. I think it melted together. I don't see any real way to peel this off of here well maybe hang on a second well, let me get the majority of it off here and then I'll work on it You know, in all honesty, having a little bit of plastic on here isn't going to hurt anything. But where I don't want excess plastic wrap is back where the hole is so that it can get caught uh, when you take the card in and out. That's what I want to prevent. Okay. Okay, so that's a very large portion of it here. Let me unlock exposure. So this looks fairly manageable. It looks like down here, the plastic didn't completely stick to it. So I may be able to start on an edge here and peel it back and maybe uh, I can get more off of it. I'm gonna get this hair out of this hair strand. There we go. So next is to see how much of this I can get separated. And whatever's left is just what'll stay with it. But let me show you real quick. If you can see that, see the exposure works. This little pocket right here, there's a little bump on this ridge here which will help when I push back on the card, on, on the micro SD card pushing it in or out of the slot, that this will help keep the entire board from shifting too far this way. There are little indents up here, on this side, and on this side, that shouldn't interfere with the ZIF socket for the camera. Uh, as far as I can tell, everything is going to work fairly well, actually. Um, I'll try to get some of this plastic off and then we will stick the board back in and give it a try. Also guys, one quick thing I did notice after I looked at it long enough. If you look at the top of the processor on this board, I don't know if you can see that well enough there. It looks like they actually scratched the top of the chip so that you can't tell what the model number is. So they're going to make things extremely difficult to figure out. And at least from what I can tell, I might be able to grab a couple numbers, but it looks like they did a really good job of uh, eliminating uh, any way of telling what chip was in here. Which also means that if I can't get any numbers, that pretty much uh, 
figuring out what more I can do with this or how it's controlled or anything else of the kind is next to impossible. Um, I'll have to see maybe one of the other ones that I get uh, actually has, you know, they forgot to scratch it off. Uh, I don't know. It looks like kind of like it was done by hand, so I'm not sure how much of these are done are made by machine. But uh, if you have a JY018 and you are brave enough to want to take it apart, pop this board off and see if the top of the chip has a number, uh, not uh, destroyed like this, then go ahead and post in the comments and let me know, or even send me a picture. Let me know what the model num or what the processor number is and I will see what more information I can get from it. Alrighty, so I've got as much of the plastic off as is gonna happen with this. So let's see if this board will stay in like I hope it will. That's the whole idea behind this. So let's take him. I'm gonna do this first without the camera attached. Um, it won't be much, it won't be any effort to put the camera on, but. Okay. So, right up here, we have almost no movement. That's good, that's exactly what I wanted. A little string here. So now, the test is to take card and put it into the slot without holding down on the board because when the cover's on you won't be able to hold it. So we're simply going to the card into the slot which you can easily see. Nice to simply be able to push it down. Let's see if you can hear it. There we go. Okay. And it works. And if you look at from this angle, you notice I have the card. The board's actually slid toward the back a little bit. So the edge of the card is basically the outside edge of this wall. So the board's actually farther toward the back than it would normally sit if I hadn't cut this out. But I wanted to make it so that you didn't have to use a bobby pin or something else to poke at it with. Like I showed you earlier, I was using the tip of a screwdriver. Uh, this way, you just have to push in with your finger and it should give you enough room with such a big hole there to be able to get it back. And then without it being so far in, you should be able now to just grab the card and pull it out. Uh, if I'd made the hole any thinner, then you wouldn't be able to really see the slot and you might have a hard time getting the, the card to go in. So with this, you actually can, well, you probably can't see in the camera. You see right where it is and drop it in. I believe the board is too low to uh, allow you to put the card underneath the board by mistake. Uh, plus I have a wad of hot milk glue there, so you're, you're pretty much safe. So that is all for this particular mod. Uh, I'll figure out which side what goes on here in a minute. Actually, I take that back. That is, I need to pop the board back out, which speaking of, under the corner and gently pry up. You don't want to break any pieces off the board. This ends up on that side. Come on, you. Ends up on that side. So, in case you're wondering, uh, the white wire, the black and white wire, are for the back right prop. Black and white wire for the front left prop. They're opposing, and same for the uh, red and blue. They're on opposing sides here. So, back left and front right. So, sorry about that. I keep hitting the camera. Uh, now, what I need to do is. I'm actually going to take the card out for right now. Um, I have some other changes that I want to make, but I'll, I want to be able to 
put everything on a larger card and I will specifically uh, get a card for that. Um, these old uh, class two cards are kind of crap. In fact, this one isn't even class two. This is, we don't know. Um, I guess I could look it up by, uh, by the part number, which is extremely hard to read here on the back. But, uh, yeah, this was an old thing back from about six years ago. So, um, I'll get a better card for that and use it in here. But, uh, for now, that's all for the micro SD, uh, card slot mod for the JY018. Uh, I'm going to do a couple more. Um, I'm going to buy probably two more of these and make sure I can get a little bit better at modding them. And I will probably sell modded ones on eBay and I will post up uh, a video about that at some point. But uh, let me know what you'd like to see. And if you're interested in having one done, um, they're not going to be $35. I'll tell you that right now because I have to buy them at full price and then I'd have to take the time to do the mod, uh, the time and the effort, and then I have to make it worth my time. So I'd have to add money on top of that. So they'll probably be about maybe 60 bucks. Uh, I'm not really sure on the price yet, but I will let you guys know uh, if and when I get around to the point of making ones that I will sell publicly. So until next time, like, share, subscribe, let me know in the comments what you'd like to see, and I will see you guys in the next video.